prefer punishment and not wanting students to explain themselves when something happens is becoming a norm in senior high school and this has to stop. It all started with these leaves. I thought they were so beautiful. I would rush around working so hard to collect a bouquet, a beautiful bouquet I would bring to my mommy. I'm now realizing that all these whiles I was working so so hard picking flowers. I was actually spending my time picking leaves. Welcome to another episode of Heart to Heart. Now let's go straight to read a letter from a very distressed student. Dear Heart to Heart Spirit, I'm writing to you with a heavy heart, seeking help and guidance. I'm a female student and I'm deeply disturbed by the unfair treatment I've experienced in my school. The constant fear of unfair punishment and public embarrassment has taken a toll on my mental health. I've seen teachers impose excessive penalties without considering our perspective or circumstances. The humiliation and sarcasm used by some teachers have made me dread going to class. I feel like I'm walking on eggshells, never knowing when I'll be the next target. The anxiety and stress have affected my grades, relationships, and overall well-being. I've tried to speak up, but my voice is often ignored. That's why I'm turning to you, hoping you can help me amplify my voice and bring attention to this issue. Please, heart to heart spirit, shed light on the struggles we students face. Help us create a safe and supportive learning environment where we can thrive without fear of unfair treatment. I beg of you. Please help me. Sincerely, a disturbed female student. You see, this issue is very hard to answer. But before we talk more about it, let's go for a quick break and we'll come back and talk more. Stay tuned. Welcome you all back to this episode of Heart to Heart. You see, before, as I was reading this letter, my heart was not broken into pieces. I'm really, really sad because when I was in senior high school, I I saw I witnessed a lot of this. But you let's go straight to talk more of the point. Firstly, this is the thing that I came up with: unfair punishment, which has become a norm in many schools. But it shouldn't it shouldn't be leading to excessive punish penalties being imposed without considering students' perspective or circumstances. You see, in senior high schools, most of the times, the authorities think that the teachers say is final. I know this might be hard, but it shouldn't be. No, it shouldn't be. For some reasons, a teacher might dislike a student, and that teacher will go extra miles to disgrace and embarrass such students. So you can imagine what this particular teacher is capable of doing. To so the authorities and to the disciplinary committee in our various senior high schools, please, please, when something happens, let's not take the final judgment of it. Let's investigate the matter. The disciplinary committees in our school should be transparent. It shouldn't be like, oh, this teacher said you saw, let's say, Francesca stealing, so it is final. Then you start giving punishment. No. You also have to investigate the matter. You just don't say, oh, a teacher is a teacher. So if the teacher has said that it should be so, it shouldn't be. The disciplinary committee should be transparent. You shouldn't just say because the teacher said this, it is so. No. The teacher might dislike the student for no reason and hence do anything to embarrass the student. So the disciplinary committee, your measures should be transparent. It shouldn't be like because the teacher has said and that's so. all. No. It shouldn't. 
this is really hard to write to. It breaks my heart a lot. When I was in senior nursing, I saw people crying, people feeling embarrassed because of this. It's not. And this is another issue that I came up with, that public embarrassment. Hey, it has become a weapon used by some teachers to humiliate and belittle students. You see, teachers know that the moment they mount you in front of the school during assembly, they start saying all sorts of things. It will belittle you. Yes, it is true. For that one, it is true. No. So you think you mount a student, you say all kinds of things. Yes, you're embarrassing the student. And when you embarrass when you embarrass the student, you know what it happens. It creates this kind of isolation, this kind of perspective about the student. It is not good. Teachers today, I really be on you because this is not it's not healthy, it's not good. So after embarrassment, the students vote. The student is even afraid of entering the class. Yes, because when something happens, if the teacher is to say something or let's say they are teaching a subject related to that, every attention. Oh, everybody turns to that person. And it is not good. When that happens, you don't even make the students feel excited. Instead of a student not feeling so happy about vacation, this student will now be happy and be wanting holidays and vacation, which shouldn't be so. It shouldn't be so. It shouldn't. Teachers, let's not see like embarrassing students as a weapon to. No. No. Embarrassing your students shouldn't even come in your mind in the first place. When something happens, let students speak up. Listen, what happened? Okay, it's prep time and you are at this place. Instead of being in the prepping room, what happened? Oh, let, hear the person out. Don't just conclude, oh, well, yeah, the bunny. Why? Because you found the person in the dark. What if something fell there and the person or the student is going for it? No, listen to them. Let them explain themselves. You don't know what probably transpired. You don't know. You have to let them talk. Now, another disheartening issue that, issue that I came up with is that students' concerns and voices are often ignored. Oh, yes. Even if students are trying to talk, you shut the person up. Let me, let me tell you guys, in students, what happened to me. So, no, 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 me. I was at a preparing I think first year to a preparing at the dining hall gate. So, I was closer to the dining hall gate. Now, somebody went out, I don't know, to do something, and the teachers came around. Then they saw this student in the dark. And they brought the student to the light, and the student told them something. The teacher was like, hey, come on to me. See, the way the student, the teacher shouted, ah! You no, know, like, it was something. I wasn't able to study again, seriously. The shouting, hey, come on to me. I was like, hey, God. So just imagine, this alone. You see, it is not good to ignore. Let them speak up, please. Let them talk. They have a reason. Nobody will just stand up out from prep room and going. Although some students have yeah, bad things they're going to do. But it's not all. Don't let that affect your students. Teachers, please. Please. I'm not happy with that at all. I'm not. I'm not happy with that at all. I'm not happy. You see, when that happens, you see, when the teacher shouted on the student, imagine what happened. The student kept quiet mm -hmm. because I think it was it's a female, it's a male. He kept quiet. He kept mute. Yes, you would have kept mute if you were in for because you are afraid that if you talk again, you'll be shouted and you start receiving slaps. So he kept mute, and the next day he was punished. I was standing, join. I was at the assembly hall, like assembly was assembly time, and they were punishing him. For some reason, I don't know, I just bowed my head because I felt like there was more into the situation. Yes, because this student I know isn't a bad student. I, I was so distressed, like my heart was broken. It felt as if something precious to me is going through something bad. Teachers, please. And you see, sometimes the disciplinary committee or the principal feels if a teacher says something and they later investigate and find out the teacher was lying students don't tend to respect no please you see i've come across a particular situation in class i investigated the matter and i found out that the teacher was lying i reported the teacher and now this is what they told me Fambia, do you think students will respect this teacher let's go and patch it 
if they find out that he was telling. I said, sir, listen, if you don't stop this punishment that you're giving to this student, this student is going to suffer. And students are not going to, they're not going to be like the, the suspended teacher. It's just that the, the, the truth has come out. And this teacher went ahead to tell me that, oh, it is not fair to prove a, a teacher wrong. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. This as no! The teacher was out to something. That's why the teacher gave a false accusation. And if the truth is out, now you are telling me that a teacher cannot be proven wrong. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't happen. It it has it has to stop today. It has to. I went ahead and I reported a person to the principal, our headmistress. She sat there, she was looking at my face like this. And there, I said to my dad, thank you, I'll talk, I'll talk about the matter. So the I think the issue was supposed to be addressed the next day. They didn't address that issue. And everything went quiet. But I me, mean, you know my plan. I I wanted them to say it in front of the whole school that the teacher was lying. Oh no, it didn't happen. But I'm hoping that this will happen one day. But you see, that is it. So to the principals, headmasters, please don't feel like teachers shouldn't be proven wrong. No. Embarrassment adult so please. We are not helping our students one bit. We are not helping them at all. And this must stop. If not, things that we don't plan to happen, you don't make the, the students feel like coming to school, even if the student hears the siren to go back to class and not hear the same. No. No. Students must enjoy school. It shouldn't be like, even if a day student is coming, oh, the person is afraid that, oh, even if I come to, you shouldn't let students always dread going to class, you know, because they will feel embarrassed or something. Please, let's listen to their voices. They have more to why you saw them at a particular position or at a particular place it's not just by because where the person is standing you know no there is more to everything there is more to every situation so in conclusion i would say that in our schools we should have a fair disciplinary system yes we shouldn't be like with support of teachers because what well, they are teachers no they are teachers so they are role models so you can't just say teacher you are being false witness and no we have to have a fair and open disciplinary system in our school so to the students out there i know you've enjoyed the first episode of heart to heart and i know that teachers have heard me well enough so henceforth don't worry your teachers are not going to embarrass you again teachers drop your comments you can share your experiences as well or the students you can share your experience if it's ever feels something like that and teachers i'm making a promise on your behalf oh. So to students out there, teachers have now promised we are going to let you guys speak up and explain yourself whenever they see you doing something. But thank you all for joining me with this episode of Heart to Heart. I'll see you guys in another episode. Until then, it's an I love you from me to you and stay safe. Bye-bye.